Tesco. You've been very frank. Does this 11 game new record, does that mean anything or is it a bigger picture? Than oh, listen, of course it means something. You don't want to have that record at all, you know. It's, uh, but it, it's, it's not as though it's just started here, you know. I think it goes back, somebody told me it's a year, you know, before we, last time we won here. Um, you know, I've, I've been here half a year, you know what I mean? So it goes back way before that. Um, we've got to make sure that we address this quickly though at home because teams are saying, oh, we've, we've got to be good at home, we've got to get points at home. There's no way you can rely on just away performances and away points to get out of the, uh, the relegation scrap. We must make it as better at home. Fans have been great at home, they've been behind us, they're still turning up in their numbers. There's got to be some mental issues that we've got to overcome and, and work harder to get the results at home. Gareth, I'm sure you describe yourself as an optimistic person. I think this is probably the most dejected I've seen you uh, since you started at QPR. Uh, what's going through your head right now? Yeah, just trying to trying to find a way to get these boys better, to get them to believe in themselves. Because you know, I think that they have been through the mill um, in the last 12 months. You know, it's probably October last year when they were top, and there was, it's been a downward spiral since then. You know, and it's it's about belief. You know, confidence in the person's. Is so unbelievable, you know. You can you can really achieve things that even you can't think. Of. So I'm I'm trying to think, how can I get this boys better? How can I make them believe in themselves? Now, if that's hard work on the training pitch, uh, do I need to, you know, make them fit to run all over teams? Do we need to be horrible the way we play sometimes? You know, do we need to learn a few more tricks? Are we too honest sometimes in, in things we do? You know, um, I want to breed winners, and, and I've got to I've got to make these boys winners. You know. I spent time this after this uh, this week with the team from 2003, and you know it, it really enthused me to try and get you know that winning mentality that we had, you know, and, and I think it's there. The players are in there, definitely. They've all won games before. They all they, these are good players at QPR. Um, for some reason, it's not clicking at the moment. Now I've got to work really hard with the training ground, I've really got mentally and physically to get this bunch better, and I will do that. You've talked about looking towards the future, uh, but based on the poor run, obviously every football manager faces questions about job security in times like these. How confident are you that you have the backing of the board of the people above you and also the players? Listen, I haven't been told that nobody's backing me. Players all board, so I'll carry on the way I'm going. Like I said, fighter, I don't fear anything um, because I can stand in the mirror and know I give my best every time. I, I walked into the training ground or I, I picked a team or I, I managed a game, I give my best. Now, if that's not good enough, then I'll be told. But at the moment, I intend to be going to make myself even better and make these players even better. That's the way forward. How hard was it, how hard was it to walk around the pitch at the end? I mean, you're, you're very upfront with the supporters. You, know, you, you show everything, I'm sure. It wasn't hard for you to do it, but to get the room, reaction you did from the fans as you went around and applauded them. So I understand, I understand the reaction so um, and again I'll go back to I know that I gave everything today, I know that I've given everything this week um, so I'm, I can hold my head high um, you know so everyone else has got to look at themselves and hopefully they've given everything as well if it wasn't good enough it wasn't good enough sometimes that's football but I'll just keep doing that because the fans have, have been great for me they've been behind us to get behind us I'm fine with that. And just quickly, obviously you've achieved some pretty incredible things to fight the odds in your time at Wickham. Would you say what you're facing right now is the, the toughest challenge of your career? No, uh, I've been in some pretty tough places before. Um, it's football, you know, it's tough all through. You know, if you start looking at it like that, then um, you can lose sight of the reality. You know, it's not the worst things in the world. I know where I am. Um, I'm going to work really hard to get out of this. And like I say, you give your best. That's all I ever tell my kids. Give your best. That's all you need to do. And I give my best every single day. Sure. And obviously Blackburn were the team you faced first in your first game back back in February. I think it was. Looking at the two between those two games, are you sort of confident that enough progress has been made in that time? Perhaps taking away what we saw today, enough progress has been made by by the on the squad, on the club and, 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 on, and on your team to sort of just to prove that you're definitely the right person to keep taking this club forward? I believe that we've got a better squad than we had when I first bought them the first time. Um, 
it didn't show today in the result, but I'm super confident we can pick it up points over this squad. Cheers, Gary. Cheers. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers, guys.